internet, so here we go. Remember that video about the trinkets on my bookshelf I talked about? It's finally here. So basically, whenever I decided to film my bookshelf tour, I got inspiration from Haley over at Haley and Bookland to kind of do a separate video for all of the little trinkets and Funko Pops and things on my bookshelves because I have a lot of stuff on my bookshelves and that may not necessarily be something you're interested in. So if you're watching this video, I'm really glad. If you want to check out my bookshelf tour, which I've already posted, I'll link it in the description. But anyway, let's just get started. I'm gonna start with the very, very top of my bookshelves. I am in a music fraternity. I joined it whenever I was in college called Mu Phi Epsilon. And so this is just kind of a lot of my little Mu Phi things I have. I just wanted to briefly mention those so that way you know what it is and you're not wondering. My tripod unfortunately does not go very high. Um, so this is kind of the best that I can do as far as the top shelves go. So I'll just kind of raise it up so you can see everything head on and then I'll show you the trinkets individually from this angle. Over on the left I have this little Stitch Funko Pop and this was actually my very first Funko Pop. And Stitch is my favorite Disney character so I just think he is really adorable. Right here I have this snow globe that I got when I was in Paris in 2015. You're going to see a lot of little trinkets from my time in Europe in 2015 but I collect many snow globes and so I had to get this one to add to my collection when I went to the Eiffel Tower. And then right here in front of my Lee Bardugo books I have this little card that I got at the Crooked Kingdom Lee Bardugo signing, and this is Kaz from Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. And then right here, I have this little tiny head bust of Queen Nefertiti. Um, I was in Talented and Gifted in elementary school, and we studied a different kind of culture um, each year, and one year we did Egypt. And at the same time, the Kimball Art Museum in Dallas uh, had an Egyptian art exhibit and I got this there to kind of commemorate that and I still have it. And then right here I have this Eiffel Tower figurine that my dad actually got me when he went to Paris many many years ago. Um, I can't remember exactly when it was but I know it was over 10 years ago and for some reason I really really wanted an Eiffel Tower figurine and so he got me one. And then over on this side over here I have my three princess Funko Pops kind of in front of the selection series since it's kind of a princessy series. But I have Elsa, who was, I think, my second Funko Pop that I got, actually. And then I have the newer version of... I cannot get this angle thing right. I have the newer edition of Rapunzel in the twirly dress, and I love her braid in the back. It's so pretty. I need more of these. And lastly, I have Peasant Ariel, and I actually have a cosplay of this version of Ariel, which is why I got this one. But also, I just think she's really cute. And the bow in the back is adorable, and I just love this one. Ariel is actually also my favorite princess, too, so there's that. And those are all the trinkets on my top shelf, so now let's move down to the next one. So here is the second shelf of my bigger bookcase. So starting to the left again, I have my Instax mini camera, and I have the light pink one. I don't use it a whole lot because the film's really expensive, but I really love it, and I do love to use it when something special is happening. And then right next to it, I have this little figurine. It's a rainbow. And it's got, it's hard, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it has kind of the skyline of New York City. Um, my dad got this for me one of the many times he was in New York. Then over here I have a collection of mini snow globes. Like I said, I collect those. So I have one that I got when I went to Mount Rushmore. And then I have this one from New York that my friend Monica got me, I think, when she was in New York. I have a lot of New York things for someone who's never been to New York. And then I have one from Hollywood that my aunt got me, I believe. And then over here I have my two Doctor Who Funko Pops. I have the 10th Doctor and Rose Tyler. And then I have this little light up ampersand that I actually, it was like a DIY one. Um, and I got scrapbook paper and put it behind that. And uh, it has cupcakes on it and it's so cute. And that's all for that shelf. Alright, so on this next shelf over here to the far left I have a picture of me and my friends when we went to a concert in Dallas. And then I have the Sansa Stark Funko Pop. Um, in between that, I have this little jar of sand, which I got from Omaha Beach whenever I was in France. And then I have Daenerys Targaryen Funko Pop. Over here, I have this little emoji stress ball. Um, 
And this is one of my most used emojis, and I feel like this is the emoji that best represents me, which is why I got it. And I kind of put it close to my copy of The Unexpected Everything, since that book has emojis in it. And then these two little things in front of it, they're just these little, like, owl trinkets. I can't remember exactly what they are, but my dad got them for me because I love owls. And then right here, I have this Polaroid of me and Morgan Matson that she signed whenever I went to the Morgan Matson book signing. Uh, for the unexpected everything and this was something that she was doing and I just think that's really cool And then the very last thing over here is this little peace sign beanie baby because I am a hippie All right, so moving on to my next shelf over on the left hand corner over here I have my three Funko Pops from Once Upon a Time, which is one of my favorite TV shows But I have uh, Regina or the Evil Queen I have Captain Hook and I have Emma Swan. And then over here I have this little Disney vinyl mation of the German flag that I got when I went to Disney World my senior year of high school. And I studied German for four years in high school so I kind of got that to commemorate that. Right here I have a little miniature snow globe from Six Flags Over Texas. It has a little Tweety Bird in it. Up on top of the Percy Jackson series over there I have two little just like beanbag stuffed dogs that I've had since I was a little girl that I think are really adorable. And then I have this little teddy bear, and his shirt says, I was in Bayou. I got this in Bayou, France when I was there in 2015. Getting further and further down, you guys. Okay, so over in the corner right here, I have uh, a picture of my two baby cousins. And then I have a picture of me and my mom. And then I have my BB-8 Funko Pop, and he's a bobblehead, and he's adorable. And then I have uh, the Ewok Funko Pop Wicket, also a bobblehead. And then over on the far right over there, I have a little teddy bear that my dad got me at the Grammys. And then this is the TBR shelf that's on my big bookcase. So I have a couple of trinkets on here. Over in the corner over there, I have a picture of my baby cousin Haley, who unfortunately passed away back in 2010. And then this picture right here, which has a glare on it, is just a picture of me and my friends at a college banquet for our scholarship program. We were trying to recreate the uh, Oscar selfie that Ellen DeGeneres had taken that year. And then I have two little ballerina figurines right here that I've had for a really, really long time because I took dance for 14 years. Then there's Ringo. He's trying to help me. Okay, so moving along to the top of my skinny shelf, this is the first of my two Harry Potter shelves, and this kind of has all the different books uh, that aren't part of my original seven series set. But I have a lot of trinkets on here because I have a lot of Harry Potter trinkets in general. So I'll start from the left. These two right here. This is Ron and Hermione, part of the mystery mini Funkos that they have. And I have them together because they're my favorite bookish OTP and I love them forever. And then right here, I have this little Hermione box that I got when the first movie came out so it's really really old and when you open it up there's a little charm inside the charm looks like this it's just like a little pile of books and then on top of fantastic beasts i just have these harry potter glasses that i got at books a million for the cursed child event and then over here i have another mystery mini and it's hagrid and then over next to my glasses that big pink thing in the corner is my pygmy puff and I got her at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when I went, oh, five years ago, I think? It was before they added the Diagon Alley extension. And her name is Regina Falange, and let me know in the comments if you get that reference. And I have two more things right here in the corner. Right here I have this little keychain of Felix Felicis. I'm not really sure how to say that correctly. But this is like a little mystery keychain thing that they I found at Target and... I think it's really cute. And then it was on top of this time turner, which my college roommate got me when she went to London the summer after our freshman year. And she's amazing. And I think she got it at the Harry Potter studio tour. And it's beautiful and I love it so much. So that is my first Harry Potter shelf. Now for my second Harry Potter shelf. Again, I have a lot of trinkets on this one, but at least I can get a bit closer. So right here, these two are some more of the mystery mini Funkos. I have uh, McGonagall in cat form and I also have Nagini and then behind that I have this Hermione snow globe that I again got uh, when the first movie came out so this is really old and then right here I have another one of the little keychains and it's the monster book of monsters and I just think that he's really cute over here I have all of my Harry Potter Funko Pops I have the golden trio Hermione Harry and Ron and then between Harry and Hermione, I have one of the mystery minis of Hedwig. Between Harry and Ron, I have the mystery mini of Scabbers. And you can't really see him that well, so let me give you a close-up. Because he's really cute. 
and it's hard to see, but right in front of them I have this little wand that I made when I went to the Books A Million party for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then of course, on top of all of them, I have Miss Luna Lovegood, who is probably, next to Hermione, my favorite Harry Potter character. Hermione is my first. Alright, so this shelf is the first of my classic shelves, and so I don't have a whole lot on here. I have this little owl box, which I have some buttons in. I have this little Madame Alexander doll of the Tin Man that my aunt gave me, as well as this little Toto figurine, which I can't remember where I got it. And then I have this tiny little lunch box for the Wizard of Oz, and it has Dorothy and the Wicked Witch, and it says, I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. So this is my second classic shelf, which houses uh, my Word Cloud classics, and eventually this will have more. I don't have a whole lot yet, so I just have a lot of trinkets on it for now. So starting right here, this is a puzzle box that I got when I was in Hawaii. And then behind that I have three different Birch Boxes. Uh, Birch Box is a beauty subscription box that I got for about two years. And the boxes are really pretty and they're really good for storing things, so I have various things stored in those. Up here I have a little Peter Pan mug and a Tinkerbell box that I keep inside. I got both of these from a family friend when I was a little girl. And then right here I have this New York a uh, nameplate that my dad got me when he was in New York last time. Right here I have a little Sherlock Holmes Museum uh, miniature snow globe that I got when I was in London in 2015. And then this right here is actually an American Girl accessory. This is actually a holiday accessory for the historical doll Samantha and I just think it's really pretty. It's made of real porcelain so I just keep it on here because I think it looks nice. Behind that I have this uh, Narnia blank card that I got in the December Owlcrate of last year. And then I also have this little Oz passport that I got in the, I believe, October Owlcrate of last year. So that's that shelf. Alright, so this is one of my three TBR shelves. So I don't have a whole lot of trinkets on here. I have uh, this picture frame that I got taken at Platform 9 and 3 quarters in London when I was there in 2015. And then I have a picture of me and my friends cosplaying as Disney princesses at Dallas Comic Con and I believe it was in 2014. And I don't have any trinkets on the shelf below that, so we're going to skip ahead. So there you go. There's all of the trinkets and stuff on my bookshelves. So I'm a Funko Pop collector. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite Funko Pop of mine was and some of your fo favorite Funko Pops in general and which ones you think that I should get because I'm always on the lookout for more Funko Pops. That'll be it for this video, and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.